Hey guys, it's Mike Hahn from Focus FPV, and here's a very popular build. Everybody's doing it, everybody's talking about it, the Tiny Whoop. And here is how we here at Focus FPV build up a Tiny Whoop. Start with a brand new blade inductrix. This goes, canopy goes immediately to the side. Got uh, this particular tool I love, um, just some screwdriver I found in a vape set. And we'll go ahead and just get all these out. And then this is kind of the technique I use, kind of brace the side. And it is, there are many ways to build up a tiny whoop. Many, many, many. Probably fast forward through this boring part of watching me hit all four of these screws and of course you do not need to take out the back screw that is a common mistake we are live action here this is how I put that screw back on though just for the viewers at home you do not need to take out the back screw the mount that we have does only use so we will go ahead and correct a mistake here but it is kind of interesting just because everybody builds these up differently you have just some certain way to take out the screws and uh, everybody kind of does it differently and you know, each way has its merits this is my way this is how I take the tiny whoop apart and you can always see the little arrow on the board it shows you where the head of your bird is if you don't build up dozens of them every week like some of us and once we pop out these screws we're ready for now she's naked we'll go ahead and uh, get her ready for a motor swap she's now ready for the 3d printed piece that will take those three screws and that's why you can see that the so this is a little tool that I use another from another vape set but uh, really gets under the prop, pops it off. It's difficult to show this part. Kind of like wedge it so you don't break the three struts, which are the commonly broken points. And I know it looks kind of rough, but I have done this many, many times. And you can see all of the struts are fine. The most breakable part of the inductrix. We'll go ahead and set these props right here for a moment. We'll go ahead and rip out the motors save these guys by the way here's a pro tip see that thing save it don't let it go anywhere you kinda want it you can pick them up at your local harbor freight or something else but you do want to save them when you're building up your own tiny whoop now this tool is amazing this is how if anybody out there builds up many of these things and fights the ESC out this is how easy it is with this random vape tool to poke out the ESCs. So now you have these little motors and those, are, those little fellas are going to have to go because we're putting in the 55k RPM race motors and you can kind of see my process here. It's kind of pushing them up and now once you got all four up I take this little fella right here and I hold the back of the motor, give it a one time like this, and then once the motor comes out, go ahead and free it from its stocky area, and we'll just go ahead and throw those aside. I don't think, ah, nobody's looking for stock motors. If anybody needs stock motors, you call a guy, because I got your stock motors. Motors on motors on motors. If you're a school and you want them donated, just holler. And so, this is a way, again, you're always worried about those three struts on each motor housing. That's the part that is, oop, forgot one. Do my move, grab the tool, and so, now you have that 
ready for our tiny whoop race motors and I suggest twisting the wires before you drop in your race motors. Get a nice twist. And now just from uh, I guess you could say building up tons of them, I do know kind of right where the CWs and the CCWs go. You can check your local listing for whatever motors you're using. If you do have the current brand of Tiny Whoop motors, right from the Tiny Whoop people themselves, then you can follow my little game. If not, well, check your CWs and CCWs. I'm not your dad. I am somebody's dad. I do have a small child. Uh, lock the door when the soldering iron comes on. You know what I'm saying? And we'll go ahead and place all of these motors with the nice little twist. A little twist is just kind of for wire management. It's not much wire management going on in a tiny whoop, but what little there is, you just kind of manage them. And it is it's a little better for everybody. And we are just about at the fun parts. Okay, got our motors in. Time to drop on our tiny whoop mount for the FXT camera, which will be making its debut in a moment. And I find it a little bit easier if you want to preload your screws. Preload, kind of load them all up there. Now you got your whoop ready to go. Now the first first screw is always the trickiest. I kind of use this little move, kind of this little move. It's kind of how I set it at the beginning. It's worked well for me. Dance with the girl that brought me here, kind of thing. And then you start the brutal task of screwing in a TPU printed, 3D printed mount. And you want to get them like, not super tight, but you get them like, just enough because you are flying mostly in auto level, at least I am. And I think most people building up are. And so you want that cushiony, you want to like tighten just till you give it a little squeezy. You want to just get the squeezy and then I'll, you'll, you'll see for stabilization purposes I'll drop a dab of hot glue over the whole apparatus and just we'll get a nice stable camera mount for the FXT so now we have a mount in place let's go ahead and wrap the wires get those out of the way I go for a little raffy poo every time I'll get the JST connector in. Definitely harder on the way in and out and out. So you get your little motor wire wrap. Take that little plastic piece that you'll never ever lose. Not one person will ever lose it. Everybody will remember them. They won't be somewhere in your carpet. No chance. And no way you'll ever lose them. So you'll just put them right back on every time, every view, and we'll just kind of snap in our JST connector. I think it's JST. There's a lot of connectors in this game, so apologies if that's wrong. Don't hate on a guy. I'm showing you how to build a tiny wheel. All right. Now sometimes those little guys can be an issue. Okay, so now we've got motors. Time for the FXT camera to come out and play now. Alright, we'll save this for later. FXT camera, standard. Now, I'll start to get them decased, I've seen. This is also the little 
798 version with a little flexi antenna. Take it out, get the case off, you give it a little one time, take your camera lens off, give it just a little whoop, take it off. Immediately put your lens cap back on so you're not going to mess around with that 600 TVL camera. Give it a little clip, make a pile of these in your house. And back to this cute little mount, has a little spot for the wires. So we'll grab them, give the wires a pokey. And a, get a little thing here, get them both through. And so we'll fit the camera in, and it's going to be first round, and it's going to be solder time. Oh, yeah, solder time. Kind of size the wire up a little bit here, go about there. Drop the old professional strip here. I'm going to solder correctly today. That's kind of the way to do it, the lost art. You will tin your subject matter first. Then you will drop that little ball. I'll show you. It is better. Um, let's drop a little ball solder, might be a little much. And ten or up. And now, it's time to just kind of solder the wire down and we will get some power to that FXT camera momentarily. Have the delicate hands. So you can see, I like to pick it up by the solder point, just to ensure that it can take, you know, the intended abuse that a tiny whoop will take in its tiny whoop lifestyle. And for the sake of making a solder. Alright, and so once the solder is done, I like to verify. I like to just kind of give it kind of this maneuver. And then I also want to bend wires a little bit. I want to get them kind of back here where I want them. And then right as soon as I do that, I'll grab. I'll grab a battery here and I'll just verify FXT camera functionality. And if you want to go for full credit here, then you'll grab one of these guys. And we'll just verify that she's shooting out video. Video has been verified. And We'll go ahead and unplug the whoop here. Get those back on the charger because you're going to constantly need those. We're going to replace the camera lens. And now you have a soldered whoop. Right now, go ahead and 
take my hot glue gun here and I'm going to drop a dab right on that solder point that I just made. I'm going to go ahead and work it in so that it's going to surround that weak point and then I'll just kind of get this ready for the inevitable cleanup that will happen whenever you break out your hot glue gun. And now I do just some finishing touches. I want that mount. I can justify every dab of glue that I'm using here because that mount, if you don't do this, then you can have a little bit of shakiness in that camera. And so I kind of give it a little kind of stabilization in these four points. And then the camera itself fits in pretty good to this mount. It's a pretty good mount. We can always raise the bar though, of course, gentlemen. And just kind of give it ever so light, kind of more pushing in one glob, one dab here. Another bad weak point you do want to protect. And then for the camera piece, same on the other side. Go ahead and kind of paint it. Kind of pushing it. And then along the back you do want, not the whole thing, a little dab. And then hit the other corner. Kind of use it as like an extra protection piece now. For all of this wonderful mess that you've made and your beautiful tiny whip, no worries. There's a hot glue gun. We'll come out. And just go ahead and clip. Just keep clipping and pulling. And right around this piece. And a clip comes off. It's going to look nice and clean when we're done. It's going to, every one of these little points, you can kind of see where things I'm going to clean up every single little hot glue hit so you have super clean whoop. You also, you know, it's not really weight reduction on this level isn't going to change your experience barely at all, but you are just keep, you keep reducing weight when you do this step. So, you know, it's definitely plus EV as we say. And right there, we are just about there. And now all we're missing is some props. Go ahead and little little known fact, Inductrix is an EDF drone, an electric ducted fan. And I don't know what the hell that means. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to pretend I do. Something about these ductings. Something about the fans, not props. Sure love if you leave me a comment. And tell me what it is I'm missing. So there you have a built Tiny Wolf. Look like, you know, under 20 minutes or so. And we'll get the... Uh, you know, I guess the big payoff here is, uh, yeah. does she just power right up and fly away? And if she didn't, I'd probably lie to you guys. No, I'm just joking. And she's alive battery's not, but she is. So, you have a built and working tiny wheel. 20 minute build there. Uh, you know, first time is going to take a little longer, of course, but um, pretty easy, pretty fun. A lot of get that micro FPV kick with, you know, pretty inexpensive considering the hobby that we're all in. And thank you very much for watching Focus FPV Tiny Whoop Build.